I'm part of that now. Guys, gold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay attention then. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. Then. This is Don't a surprise because you paid your <laughs> dollar, <laughs> man, Mike. It's it's gold. Um, I, I thought we'd do something. We've done this before. And um, actually, I think this was your idea. And I'm going to turn it on you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dutters, Dutters is here. Hi, Dutters. And we're going Gundy. to interview a mayhemer. Ooh. So let's go around. We got a few people on the hangout with us here, including a Patreoner himself. <laughs> I'm your boss, Sorg. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. I'm so very scared. Uh, and we're all going to ask you a question to get to know Dutters. Hi. In relation to wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like okay. I need to clarify I've that. Asked, so all the personal questions oh. I never need to know. So. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so let's go around. Let's go around. Uh, I'll, I'll add an indie mayhem uh, question. Uh, what is your first memory of wrestling? Oh, my first memory of wrestling. Oh my! This is what gosh. we tell. This is the first question we ask everybody on the indie mayhem show. Oh shoot! Oh man! I, I... like. What was your earliest like? Yeah, wrestling memory. Yeah, wrestling. Um, I mean, it may not be the first time, but. Uh, first introduction to wrestling was definitely with uh, Hulk Hogan um, and watching it with my brother and then trying Hulk wrestling moves on each other. And then I which kind of got into it with that and it enjoyed, you know, picking up my brother in that regard and him picking on me back. And I'm very thankful that he was able to have children. Because <laughs> there was a slight concern for a little while as I aged. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. amazing. Because you know things you learn, and I didn't understand the whole you know crotch kicking thing. Pull, did you pull a John Stewart? Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I I I thought that was an acceptable thing, and I didn't realize that boy parts were different than girl parts. In that regard. <laughs> so your heel turn involved a lender a lesson in gender equality. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. that's, that's that's it. Yeah. And like yeah, like I said, um I am going to be an ant, so I at least know for a fact that I didn't damage his <laughs> that's parts good. too much. That's good. Congratulations. So like <laughs> so like when it was announced you're like Phew. Yeah, no, it was I have I've I've said on numerous occasions I was hopeful that I'd never caused permanent damage. Small <laughs> celebrations. So yes. So there you go. That's so we're gonna start off this question with me nailing my brother in the crotch as children. <laughs> Because of wrestling. All right, <laughs> all right. We'll go around. Uh, sure. Next, Bobby. Bobby, uh, would you like to ask a question, please? <laughs> I am going to take a page out of another wrestling podcast and ask. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> who's your favorite wrestler? Uh, Stone Cold. Um, I'm a big fan. I've I've been a fan of Stone Cold ever since, obviously, the Attitude Era. Um, that really got he got me really back into wrestling because there was a. I had gotten away with it in high school and, and things, and then I got back into college, and then thankfully that was at the Attitude Era at that point, and his just mentality was just awesome. I remember <laughs> just just thinking, what a badass! I had one of the full size posters in my dorm, and um, numerous T shirts. I have my Stone Cold, my Stone Cold Whoop Ass Bear, which he's a good friend of mine too. But uh, yeah, I, Stone Cold's my favorite, and he's still one of my favorites, being as outspoken as he is. I'm currently looking at my Stone Cold Steve Austin cookie jar. The most redneck thing I own. Oh, I, I love it. I have my Stone Cold Steve Austin throw blanket. I'm so jealous. I don't have any of these <laughs> things. My birthday's in April. I mean, if you want to buy me some Stone Cold. Is, you can have my Stone Cold Steve Austin throw blanket. Yes. That'd be so awesome. I, I still do. owe all that John Cena long sleeve shirt. All right. <laughs> Patreoner of the day, Mad Mike, do you have a question for Dutters? I have a two-part question. Ooh, because two part. one, uh, w- when you're when you're being interviewed on the Wrestling Mayhem show, we have to ask you this question. Okay. If you were a vegetable, <laughs> what vegetable would you be? I haven't heard this for so long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would be it, celery. Cool. Because celery. I think I most resemble a stalk of celery. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I. I mean, I've really had a physical relation answer to the question before because that might be a new one. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I. Valid. Totally valid. When you think um, of celery, yeah. you think of dudders. <laughs> wow. Okay. And you can cover in peanut really, butter. What's up now? I got really odd. Whoa. Anyway, uh, what? I mean, cutting it up. What? No, no, I was about. Yeah, nothing. I was no. talking about covering I myself was, in peanut butter. Apparently, I was talking, I was oh, talking about right, this that, end. That works too. Um, but the wrestling question: 
What is your favorite match that you've seen live? Oh, oh. gosh. Um, <clears throat> oh, shoot. What's my favorite live event? I can't even think. Um, well, of course, I, I saw one in, in, in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in New York with a gentleman, Mike or something, I believe. Yeah, some asshole. <laughs> <laughs> He's a jerk. I think I think honestly my fa- I've seen I was lucky enough to go see some events in Cleveland during the Attitude Era and I could think of a few events there are a few oh, nice. matches that way, but I think honest to goodnessly my most the most fun I've ever had at an event was the Royal Rumble last year because it wasn't just the 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 match itself it was just how much fun we all had and how just crazy awesome it was and and, and like it is it I've never experienced anything like that and just a group of us and having that much fun but. I think that was my favorite because just for the sheer, just joy of the whole thing <laughs> and just the excitement. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Well, I like my friends. Fun. I'm a self, I'm, I'm celery. Matt Carlin, so do you have a question <laughs> for the Dutters? A wrestling question for the Dutters? He might not be on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he, he's, he's Dutters. Dutters. Yes, I'm done. I have an important Matt. question. Okay. I have an important question mm-hmm. that no man in the Mayhem universe can ask. Okay. My question for you is... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, answer, answer. Answer. I promise that'd be nice tonight. Wait, wait. Are you... She already said she'd cover herself in peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, wait, you said no man I can I mean, ask. Where's, where's the bar at? Are you asking? No you? man can answer okay, what then. I meant to say. Oh. Uh, Clarification. Okay. Uh, Dutters? Yes. What do women want from professional wrestling? Ooh. Ooh. What do like, I know want? what the men want. The men want aggression and fighting. Mm-hmm. I'll fill that like, question. Are you <laughs> <laughs> the oily bodies, or like, are you watching it for the same reason the guys are watching it? Uh, what, I, do you, what do you want from your professional wrestling? Um, I like a lot of um, power. I like skill. I like. I, I'm a big fan of high flying maneuvers. Um, not so much, you know, oiled up wrestlers. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. It doesn't quite do it for me. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're very in very nice shapes, and and I appreciate their. Shapeliness. Shapes and sizeliness <laughs> and shapeliness. Nice shapes. <laughs> oh, I love it. But um no, I, I I enjoy it more for the the just the mo- the crazy slamming and the raw power of the whole thing and just the praising you know, the moments that just made me go, Oh shit, did that really just happen? That's that's why I watched that's us in the hangout all the Dutters, time. have you have you watched <laughs> Lucha Underground? No, I have not. You need to get Sorg to get you links for Lucha Underground. I need to get links for Lucha Underground. What the heck? Oh, Lucha Underground is so good. Really? It's, it's good Dutters, stuff. you will love it. D- Dutters, I will send you. I, I will start sending you the link that I tweet out most weeks on Wednesday yeah. mor- or on Thursday um, mornings. And just it it also has the nicely shaped John Morrison. Nicely <laughs> shaped. So. Very shapely. <laughs> yeah. Also, the nicely shaped Mel Mascaris. <laughs> Not Mel Mascaris. <laughs> What? what? No Mortis. No Mortis, yes. <laughs> no Mascara? Yes, no, no. Mascara. No Mascara. <laughs> Mascarita <laughs> Sagrada. <laughs> well, I don't know why I went for it. Dutters, there's a version of Ginger in Lucha Underground, and it's Mascarita Sagrada. Yes! I can't wait to see it. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's nice. Also, I don't know if you can person. see. I wish you could see Matt Carlin's cup right now. Also, the nicely saved Dario Cueto. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I saw, I saw your John Cena thumbs up. Oh, no, it's a fist. Sorry, I thought he had a thumbs up. It's a fist. Also, the nicely shaped Juan Cena. Juan Cena. <laughs> if, if Juan Cena debuted as a jobber on Lucha Underground, I'd lose my mind. That'd be amazing. Juan Cena. Juan Cena. Uh, oh. Isn't that kind of like us suspecting that CM Punk has been working for uh, Kaiju Big Battle? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Big All right.